This tiny SSD enclosure from Dotcase has a few tricks up its sleeve. Let's check it out. This is the Dotcase Pocket M2 NVMe Smart SSD enclosure. As its name suggests, it's an SSD enclosure with some features that you will not find on others. Measuring a minuscule 43.5mm tall and wide, and only 40mm deep, this truly is a portable SSD enclosure that you can throw into your pocket or any bag. The enclosure is beautifully built with the sides and back being made of a sturdy aluminium, and the front being a glass screen which can show you a variety of information. More on that later. Looking around the enclosure, on the top you have a button that can be used to control the display. On the bottom you have a USB-C port capable of transfer speeds of up to 10GB per second. On the sides there isn't much apart from a couple of holes which you can use to attach the enclosure to a lanyard or a strap or anything else you may want to use to carry it around. And on the back you have a beautifully machined heatsink which is designed to dissipate heat away from the SSD inside, prevent it from overheating and ultimately keep your data safe. Included in the box is a high quality braided USB-C cable, a tiny screwdriver which you can use to actually insert your SSD into the enclosure and a spare screw in case you lose one. Just remember though that this is not supplied with the SSD itself. That you will have to buy separately. Now before we move on, I must stipulate that I did receive this enclosure free of charge to test and Dotcase have been kind enough to provide me with some discount codes which I put in the description of this video so should you wish to buy one, you can receive a discount. However, all thoughts and views in this video are my own. Inserting an SSD into this enclosure and setting it up is super simple. However, unlike the charge disc, which I did review previously on this channel, it is not toolless. To start off, flip the SSD enclosure over so the heatsink is facing upwards and remove the screw on the back using the screwdriver supplied. Take the back off and inside you'll see another screw. This will hold the SSD in place once you've put it in. Remove this screw also. Next, take your SSD and insert the connectors into the slot at the bottom as shown. Apply a little pressure so the connectors click into place and then push it down so that the SSD is flat with the enclosure. Reinsert the screw at the top of the SSD and tighten it down. Be careful not to over tighten it and crack anything. Then reinsert the back plate and add the screw back onto this and you're ready to go. And I'm happy to say that as soon as I completed this setup process and plugged the SSD enclosure into my computer, it was recognized immediately. I was able to initialize it and rename. Very easy. Now let's check out the performance of this disk enclosure before talking about some of its other features. Using the same Blackmagic speed test I've used before, you can see that I'm achieving write speeds of around 965 megs per second and read speeds of around 870 megs per second. Now while the case stipulates that it can handle transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second, I think in this situation, it's actually the SSD that I place into it, which is a limiting factor. But those speeds are really quick. And if you look back at the Blackmagic test, it's telling us that those transfer speeds are more than enough for reading and writing video up to 8K ProRes at 60 frames a second and 12K. It will not be able to handle those but those are very high resolution files and really not used by mere mortals like me. But let's think about this in a real world context. To do that here, I'm moving a 1.4 gigabyte file from my computer's hard drive to the dock case enclosure. And as you can see, that moved in just over two seconds. That's pretty fast. So let's have a think about other features that differentiate this SSD enclosure from its peers. And one of them is its PLP or power loss protection. When I opened it up, you may have noticed a large purple capacitor inside of it. This is designed to hold enough charge that should the drive be disconnected from a power source, it can continue to run for a number of seconds to make sure it's cleared its cache and in doing so doesn't lose any data which you have stored upon it. This just provides a little extra data protection and peace of mind for you should you be using this. If you accidentally knock it off its power source or it becomes unplugged for whatever reason, you can be sure that it's at least going to shut down properly and not corrupt any of the data upon it. Now clearly the biggest differentiating factor is the screen on the front of this case, and it really can provide you with a wealth of information. As standard, the screen shows drive temperature at the top, PLP or power loss protection charging status, specs of the SSD installed, including capacity of the drive, type of connection the drive is running, with the model number and brand of the drive, SSD health, showing the status of the drive installed, and also the number of power on hours, the USB connection speed and total amount of data transferred to or from the drive. However, when transferring data to or from the drive, those information points change. In this situation, it shows the current amount of data being read from or written to the drive, the amount of data that has been read from or written to the drive in this power session, and the total amount of data that's been read from or written to the drive in its life so far. The button on the side of the drive enables you to access even more data. If you hold it down, it will start offering you different menus. 
The first provides detail around the SSD, such as its name, serial number, firmware version, remaining life of the drive, number of power cycles, and the total amount of data written to and from the drive. Holding down the button even longer, we'll offer you a menu which brings up information about the enclosure itself, such as the serial number and manufacturing date. Also, this is where you can enable read-only mode and disable or enable power loss protection. You can adjust screensaver duration, change a boot image, and even change the language that the drive is set up in. The third menu, which you're offered, will show you more information around the SSD temperature and input voltage. And the final menu will let you update the firmware of the enclosure itself, so you can access all the latest features released by Dockcase. Overall, I find this screen a really great addition to the enclosure. Now, if you didn't have a screen on the enclosure, the only way you could get a lot of this information is via apps installed on a device you're going to plug this thing into. However, in this situation, it's right here in front of you, ready to use. I think it's a great addition. Now, this is nowhere near the cheapest SSD enclosure that you can purchase. In the UK, this will cost you around £60, and in the US, it will cost you around $50. So considering that you can buy other enclosures for less than half that price, what makes it worth buying this one? Firstly, it's made of really premium materials and feels like it's built to last. And I think that's really important with something like this. At the end of the day, you're going to place your data on this, you're going to transfer data around using this, and potentially process upon it also. So you're going to need something that you can trust. Speedwise, as you saw, I could read and write data from it at just under one gigabyte per second, which is more than enough for the majority of people. And it also has those additional features, like the power loss protection, something to give you that extra peace of mind that should you accidentally unplug it whilst you're using the drive, you're not going to lose your data. And then the screen, which provides you a wealth of information, especially things like the actual health of the SSD that's within it. Again, if you see it deteriorating, it gives you a chance to change it and remove your data from it before it's all lost. Compatibility wise, I've tested this with a number of devices, including my phone, my computer, and my laptop, and I'm happy to say it worked easily with them all. And don't forget, this thing really is tiny. You can throw it in your pocket, throw it in your bag. It's not going to take up a lot of space at all. It's truly portable. When comparing it to one of its peers, the charge disc, which I reviewed previously, both of them had their pros and cons. Both are small, portable, and well-made, so they tie in that respect. The charge disc has a built-in USB-C mail port, which I actually found really useful, especially when using with my phone. I didn't need anything additional to mount it to. I could just plug it into my phone and use it straight off the bat. Interestingly, in the comments for that review video, a lot of people didn't like that feature and actually would have preferred to use a lead. However, in my view, not having to carry a lead is actually a great thing. It means if you forget one, you can still use the drive. However, a big problem with the charge disc was the fan noise. Yes, it has a fan installed in it to actually keep this SSD cool. However, it was so noisy that when using it to actually record video directly to, it was picked up by all the microphones and actually was a problem in the image which I actually ended up with. The dock case enclosure is silent. It doesn't have any moving parts, so it really doesn't suffer from that. So actually, that's a point to the dock case. And then when you consider the other features of the dock case, like the power loss protection and the screen with all the data on the front, Actually, I think that makes it a more compelling purchase than the charge disc. At the end of the day, I think this is a great piece of kit and it's something that I'm actively going to use. I'm gonna have it in my bag with me at all times, meaning that should I need to transfer some data or move something from A to B, I can do. It's there ready to use and it's not taking up any space at all. So if you're in a hunt for a small SSD enclosure and you are concerned about making sure your data is safe and have all that extra functionality, check this out. It could be the one for you. Remember, there are discount codes in the description of this video below. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any comments or feedback, well, leave them in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day.